So what you feel that there are what I use the word as zero means schedule, schedule one, schedule two, schedule two. These are certain basic schedules. What in whatever format, whether you want to do it in Primavera or in MSP or in Excel, mentally, when you go for a small parties and all, you can do in mental level. But when you involve a complex project for a different, different, bigger scale, definitely it's not possible for any individual's uh, single mind that single handedly he can do on his brain. But definitely, uh, this type of softwares and this type of tools, you need to take a help of that. So, based on that, there are certain basic schedules you really need to understand. Like what I told as an example of the birthday party, kitchen uh, party, that there is a scope program, like construction program. What this construction program refer to your uh, birthday celebration. Here the birthday date was 22nd July. So till 22nd July or 22nd July first morning, she will start her preparations for your birthday evening celebrations. So there is a sequence of work. That she is having a program, okay. That something as per the uh, cooking recipe that she needs to uh, soak some uh, dal or some type of rice evening one day before. So on twenty first night she will soak those things in the kitchen. On twenty second morning eight o'clock maid will come. Maid will do so and so things and cutting of the vegetables by three three thirty by twelve o'clock she will do this this preparation first dish. Then by four o'clock this dish is prepared. By six o'clock she is ready with all the dishes. And some certain dishes like the chapati, roti, or whatever puri, it's which we need to be served hot that are planned at the last end. So, what she is doing, she is doing the sequencing. So, this in terms of a MSP or in terms of a sophisticated project management is called as a construction program. So, why it is called as a zero? You understand why we could have named it or anybody could have named it management at S1. S0 means that this is the basic originate Gangotri. Gang this is the origin from where program everything comes out. How your work will flow, how your money will flow, what on what has to be done. That's why it's termed as S0, schedule zero. That is the construction program agreed with the client, committed, organized way of working. That this will be my sequence of work. Based on this sequence only, rest all six schedules will work. Please remember that. Always recall, based on this S0, this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 will work. Because this 6, how the things will come out in material, that depends upon the program. So same way, yes. like I told, time and money, as soon as the program is fixed, how you will, or you will, as a professional setup, you will understand how your money will also come. You will freeze that, that this is my money. Because if the money is not coming, what do you, we used to hear that government projects, started, then the government got changed, the project, the foundation stone was done by a previous government and after 10 years it is getting complete because invoice, they were raising the money and money was not coming to them. That's why projects were under halt. So these are certain things. So invoicing is also S0 and S1. They are particularly first frozen. Remember, this invoicing is also coming from the construction program only. At what, at what time, how many things will happen. So based on that, invoicing is being done. Then there are certain milestones, but I told like, if you travel from your home to catch a train or catch a flight at the airport, how you do that? It's also, it's also planning. People think that planning is only project management. When you plan your travel from your home to your airport or railway station, as an individual, you also do a planning. Okay, there is a, I am traveling at what time? So there's a the traffic. You have to keep in mind the traffic. You need to plan the route. Okay, this is the route I mostly have taken. It's always chaotic. Let me take a half an hour before. Then half an hour before you plan, you arrange your resource that I will take a taxi, I will take an auto, I will take a friend's bike, or I will drive myself. I will take use the park, uh, the station parking, airport parking. You will decide your resource that how you will travel. And while you are starting to travel at a time, and then with the mid so that to time that okay, there is a travel time is of two hours to the airport. Then in the half an hour, you think that by half an hour I should have reached this to a, my friend's house. From their friend's house, if I am traveling, it will take one hour to the station. But while traveling to your friends out, there is an accident, there is a jam at midway and you are not able to reach your friends out in half 30 minutes. That means that there was a milestone that you have checked for a captive for yourself that whether I will be reaching in two hours, I need to check because the first condition was that within half an hour, I should be at my friend's place. These are called certain milestone checkings. These are helpful in our project tracking, whether we are at right track or not. Because if half an hour you are getting late, you need to change your course, you need to change your strategy, you need to change your plan. So that you, the ultimate goal is 
to reach the airport in time and catch the flight. That that's the main thing behind objective behind that. So based on that, like the way you targeted, you scheduled that what machines, what equipments, and like what mother was planning, that what tools and requires for this cooking and all. Same way you plan at one hand side that what are the machineries and the equipments like crane, JCBs, big big poklanes, big trawlers, uh, dumpers. How you have to plan your machinery because and these machineries you will not bring in on the very first day. How you will understand this machinery will come? This will come from your S zero construction program. Like sometimes the cranes has to come when you have come up above the foundation. So you will not very first day try to mobilize or set up a tower crane there. Agreed. This is, you will be always, as per your construction program, you will mobilize, start mobilizing machinery and the equipments. Based on that, as per your program, you will be always requiring resources, like for the resources for the mother was, the maid, you yourself, your father, your sister, these were the resources for your mother. Here at this project site, there are staff, there are, there are fresh engineers like you, me, and seniors, example, those who are doing the project. There is a staff, staff schedule also. When and what time, what type of staff has to come? First, the project leader has to come. First, the planner has to come. And some two, three engineers. So as soon as the scope goes, as soon as the work agrees, the more staff will come. So there is a schedule for staff. How the, you are building your team? How many people are required to build that? The same way, the laborers are working. These are our most important vital source because they are the works from whom we are getting the work done. So there has to be schedule for the labor also. That at what time, how many labors are required? These all things are getting derived from our sequence of the program. That what labor at what time the labor will come. Then similarly, there is a schedule for material. That how much cement is required, how much reinforcement is required, how much formwork is required. Everything like the project you are planning, like in a, in the birthday preparation. What all the ingredients of the menu, the bulk material means the material has to be planned by the mother. That what are the ingredients of the recipe, how which will be purchased, vegetables has to be purchased in how much quantity, if there are four friends, then this much quantity, and if there are 10 friends, then this much quantity, the quantity depends upon the, so this is called the material planning. So based on your understanding, you can recollect that S0, the construction program, the sequence of the activity is planned, based on that, the money is fixed now, Machineries are planned, staff is planned, labor are planned, metal bulk material is planned. Now this is called your basic structure for the site execution plans are getting frozen on that. So as soon as you relatively progresses in the project, these were your guiding factors. If you can go deep into that, definitely there's a lot of elaborations, lot many things inside all these six schedules. But it's a brief that how the site operations really used to work on that. That definitely there is a sequence. Then you need to plan your money also. Then you need to plan your resources, like the way the mother was doing, that who will do what, this and, and, and what time they will be doing. So machineries are planned, staff is getting planned, team is getting buildings there, labor force is allocated, that how much labor is required based on the productivity data, based on your estimating and costing subjects, what you have studied. There you have to allocate the productivity, that how much work the one particular labor can do, and for this much quantum, how much labors are required in this way, these are certain things we really need to plan on that. So now, what you understand that there are different career prospects post your graduation on this. If you're getting the brief on that, that either you once you're completing your courses on that of your degree, you can go for the gate. I am just briefing you what are the different career prospects if you opt for a different, different four options. If you go for a gate score, definitely you will be doing your MS in structure. In this you will get a profile of a design engineer, a sophisticated job where you can think that how the, the construction has to happen, the design, the structural load details, the other things of the designing. So if here, once you go for a great score and all, and does your master's from any of the university, your working profile will be of a design engineer. So if that, that is the, and if nothing is no nothing is good or nothing is bad. I had a comparative table here. That's why. That if you are opting for a gate score, if you are opting for an MS in structures, your job profile, your life profile will be different. And you will so as per your interest and area of interest and confidence level, you have need to opt for that. 
because everybody is opting for gate score that's why i'm sitting in gate and after passing a gate score you once you come to the field and when everybody asks you design a structure design a load pattern but you are not confident in enjoying that then definitely there is no use then you will regret that decision of yours so understand that having an ms is a different profile but now if you profile after your graduation if you go for your post graduation courses in construction management from nikmark sapt this and that then definitely your profile will be different like whatever briefings you are i have just gave you in then some 30 minutes you will have a detailed one one year one year two year exposure to all these things and you will be much more mastering in all the project management and then you will come to the site then then much more advanced and much more but then also you need to understand the execution first and then you can plan your career path will be totally different and sometimes you can ask for your economic and other scenario conditions everybody has a different conditions way back their home some people can't go for all the post graduation courses they can directly plunge into the site operations but they have to keep in mind all these things they need to really develop all these attributes they need to really come up with some subject knowledge on that so that they don't feel the pressure when they are in the execution and parallel you can definitely have your skill enhancement while all these online courses if you are not able to go for ms or any post graduation courses definitely you can have a skill enhancement so various courses are available any interactions youtube videos are there you can interact and you can understand the subject that how the construction management happens how the contract management happens and keep on up upgrading yourself so that you are much more familiar while in the operations now get ready for the main contents on that that certain things as a fresher as a college goers and the pass outs you need to understand which are really key enhancements and skill enhancements you really need to work upon while you are coming out at the site because most of the things we miss now these are subjects in our first year and second year and at the fag and when you come out then we really need to find that oh in the site these are the most important what i referred earlier like survey mostly it is in the second year survey we mostly have the combined survey classes combined practical classes and we really as a student i very much frank on that people used to bunk okay somebody else some sense students will do and some we are the back benches and we can copy their practical books and all and we used to hide but please understand other practical labs you can do but as a site engineer as a particular person when you go for the execution survey subject you really need to be very very strong on that you really need to have a grip on this so don't ignore that particular subject so you going for any campus interview you going for any work please understand survey is the most basic thing anybody has to start with people students has to be very much very much particular and mastery in bbs bar bending schedules like what we have been the structure program uh, calculations numerical for passing your exams okay this will be the reinforcement details this will be the reinforcement quantity in this structure if this is the load 7% 15% you design and you formula and you get the 20 number marks and you pass out but you forget how to make the bbs of that you really need to understand the bar bending schedules the stir ups the turn the end bends and all so you really need to understand don't miss those things and the concrete technology the basic the bread and butter of civil engineers the concrete technology mostly you should be very much strong on those and the labs related to that and one most important thing is estimating and costing while calculating and while studying in the college we usually used to say it's more numerical so we are much more confident and very much uh, fast forward in this and very much over confident in estimating and costing but this particular subject be very sincere be very much particular in studying that and clearing your concepts because while you site planning and your site project management this topic estimating costing in productivity in calculating your labor in calculating your material requirement pnm requirement that comes into basic picture these are the four things which is really really important for site basic operations so these are the mostly things are covered in your curriculums but you really need to revisit them and very take them very very seriously from the beginning or again re refresh yourself by starting any campus interview or any things when you are going to joining any fresh as a fresh graduate or as a fresh engineer diploma engineer in any of the site apart from that now most of the curriculums are getting changed There's people in the in our engineering colleges also the basic planning and construction management concepts uh, the form work design concepts you can get through online or different different 
online courses, portal, YouTube. You need to have a certain exposure of this so that once you are coming to the site, once you are overviewing a project, and then you are not totally blind. You don't understand what is the framework uh, and what is AutoCAD and how the things are getting designed, what is the load pattern. You really need to have an exposure on this. Some people are, some colleges are there, but this is a mostly general comment that people really need to have a grasping on that. And safety aspects. There are certain things which really... Uh, is the most at most we can't play with the which as a college student we can't we don't realize but when you are working as a professional this is the most when whatever labors whatever people who are working under you you being their leader really need to take care of them you can't let them work in a dangerous environment so safety operational aspects also really needs to be exposed okay if your curriculum doesn't have that you really need to externally try all these things from various options available online offline or discussing with seniors, attending some webinars like this. You really need to have some exposures on this skill enhancement because these are the certain things which really, really matter and how the thing uh, at the site operations goes. Because mostly the freshers lack all these things and they really fall apart because if you are not accustomed to all these things, even if you are really an enthusiastic person, then definitely you will grasp. Because at the site management team, people are not that much having the time to make you sit and understand all these things. So it's a individual's IQ and individual's interest, interest, individual's interest and the grasping power that he or she has to adopt while, while working only. If you are not really ready to cope up on these things, then definitely most of you have found people really fall apart. Either they switch the lines, either they change the companies, they go for a different profile or they really switch over because they feel dejected. So that's the orientation we wish to give. These are certain discussions I used to take for my campus interviews when I go for from the company side. I used to discuss with the freshers that how they have to orient. So there are certain things which is having the construction in the what is the future that uh, digitalization is the new keyword. Uh, mostly the construction industry is very low industry, but big companies like software uh, companies like Larson and Dubro and bigger countries and vector, they are going for digitalization. Digitalization means that it's a very, uh, when you are having such a big projects like tracking, monitoring and everything, this digitalization in the artificial intelligence and this data analysis helps are uh, being taken up. And now we are much more getting organized on this tracking and project planning processes. And uh, definitely robotics in the, in the few go for the Western world, they are much more advanced. So they, whatever construction technology we are adopting, they have taken that in past and now they are much more into robotics because they don't have the labor force. So they try to mechanize the works and they try to get the robotics uh, for the sequential type of work or repetitive work, they use robots. But in Indian context, we much more have a higher labor force. So it's a far away context as for Indian context. It's a far away concept, but okay. Companies really need to adapt for some repeated type of work that definitely we can go for this mechanized uh, robotics in construction. It's a future, it's a future. Anybody can explore that who is much more interested in this can have a inclination towards this, can adopt this for a future, but not at presently Indian country because since we are having a lot many labor force in that. So with this, I have mostly done on that, that brief introduction on the site operation and works.